It could be any old haute couture fashion show, but these one-of-a-kind designer dresses started as a liquid and came from a can. Liquid fabric is a suspension of polymers plus additives and fibers. It's a new technology called Fabricam, and it's the result of an unexpected 10-year chemistry detour for fashion designer Manel Torres. I call myself as a chemist tailor because it's in fashion women's wear. I'm a doctor in women's wear. Manel's eureka moment came from another famous spray can product. Basically, I was at a friend's wedding, and she was all over the spray with the silly string material. And I thought, why could not create using the technology of the spray-on fabric, a miss, and that will be an instant non-woven fabric. And everything started from there. He took those principles and created Fabricam, mixing tiny natural and synthetic fibers with liquid polymers inside an aerosol can. It turns into a non-woven fabric and goes on like a second skin. The spray-on fabric, when it gets in contact with the air, it solidifies into this instant non-woven material. It starts as pure chemistry, but in the hands of a designer, transforms into art. What I will do is I will do a bra for you. It feels like, um, like a bracing morning air, I would say, but fun. It takes, I suppose, like that sort of tight body. You feel very secure in it, basically. And it's quite, it's, quite, it's quite a comfortable feeling, rather than, I suppose, having a bodice where you'd be dying in a corset. It's quite liberating, in a way. It can be removed, washed, and reworn, or, if you prefer, just dissolve it and start over. Fashion is only the tip of the liquid fabric iceberg. Change up the recipe, and it could be a medical marvel. One of the main characteristics of being able to have a liquid fabric contained in an aerosol is that it makes this material totally sterilized so that you have great advantages to be able to be a wound dressing, also an, an instant bandage. Another big element is that it, you can add nanotechnology, even drugs, medicines, to be able to have an instant patch, as example, a nicotine patch. Or how about spraying a new chair into existence? They be able to use the, the specific material of a cast to be able to create furniture, or speaking with interior designers, even on a light, you know, the, to, to be able to have a hard light. And again, the material is totally uh, non-flammable. Manel even figures that the same liquid fabric that makes a couture dress could clean up an oil spill. It works very well with minor changes to be able to be sprayed on large scale that could be on the sea, on a large lake, of which they have a problem of a spillage. And then basically it will be a good way to control the spillage so that, you know, you have this fabric that is floating, is absorbing, as we can see, the oils, and also it will be very easy to clean it off afterwards. With so many possibilities, he thinks spray-on fabric could revolutionize the 21st century the way the sewing needle did for modern civilization. One of the big technologies is the sewing needle, the way that why exists, because we managed to you know, join, you know, the fairs and be able to start to weave and on and on so that, you know, we could keep the clothes, you know, to, to preserve us from the coldness. I'm thinking that the aerosol can is a new way to create new instant sterilized fabrics that, I don't know, who knows if could be the, the, the new saver of our future generations. That's a pretty tall order, but Manel's immediate plan is to take Fabrican way beyond the catwalk. The dream for me will be to be able to see the, the spray on fabric used on the medical wall, in the automotive industry, in the fashion industry. It will be so fantastic. <laughs>